Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC and today we're going to be looking at Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition for the Kirby 20th Anniversary which by this point is probably about 10 years ago but hey I figured if we're going to go right back to the start we may as well do it with the Celebration Collection so let's get into it. Ah oh, here we are. Ah, oh, everything is so cute. So we've got new stuff, history, and classic titles. So this game condenses the first six Kirby Mainline games uh, from the series. And I was going to start with Kirby's Dreamland because that's the very start, the very first one. Um, but I thought instead we would go to Kirby Superstar because the first main game mode in Kirby Superstar is um, Spring Breeze which is basically like an abridged condensed version of Kirby's Dreamland. Uh, not that Kirby's Dreamland is bad it just lacks some of the features that were introduced in the later games um, also, I just want to do sort of like a quick introduction, so we're going to jump in, uh, we're going to play um, Spring Breeze, so we'll get to that in just a moment. Okay, so here we are uh, with Spring Breeze, uh, we're just going to watch the intro to get into the game, get ready for it. There's trouble in Dreamland. King DDD and his soldiers have stolen all the food in Dreamland. Oh. <laughs> Can't leave any behind. Here comes our hero, Kirby, riding in on a spring breeze. Let the adventure begin. Is this your first time playing? No. Uh, played Kirby, the original, and Spring Breeze quite a few times. So we're going to jump straight into it. And then once we finished Spring Breeze, uh, which is basically, as I said, Kirby's Dreamland, the original, just condensed into an abridged version, we're going to take a look around at some of the other features of this um, game compilation. And then in the next video, uh, we're going to continue on with Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Dreamland 2, Kirby's Dreamland 3, and so on and so on and so on. So this is just going to be a condensed introduction, a taster, a starter into the world of Kirby. So, uh, nope, you don't need to explain copy. Uh-huh. Oh, it's using the old um, uh, Super Nintendo controller, even though I'm not using a Super Nintendo controller. But uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out as we go. There we are, green greens, and there's the butterfly. There's just the music as well. Okay, so. There we are, that's inhale. And then that's. There we go. Okay. Ow! Was it again where I can make buddies? I don't think... Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's have a buddy, just to start with. He can help me out. Have Waddle-Doo. Waddle-Doo's a good buddy. Ah, oh, there we are, riding together on the Warp Star. 
it's always it's always really quite emotional hearing the what hearing the music to be honest the green greens because really it is very iconic oh sorry oh, I'm getting my buttons mixed up again but yeah it's very much a sense of nostalgia and you know just good times Go and then I inhale you. It will be bomb, Kirby. Kapow! Whoops, wrong way. Why is he turning the wrong way? Okay, there we go. There we go. Give him some health too. Whoa! Why did I jump really high then? Often I'll jump really high, but I'm not sure how I do it. Anyway, uh, whoop, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. There we go, get rid of him. Oh, I'm jumping on Waddle Doo. I see. Waddle Doo's helping me jump high. Oh no, sorry, Steam has just popped up on my computer. Not now, Steam. I'm trying to record. Oh, thanks, Steam. That's your fault. Oh, well. Yeah. Give some to Poppy, bro. Whoa! <laughs> it can be a bit inconvenient doing that super jump at times, and I'm not ready for it. Oh. Oh, this is going to be Wispy Woods, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. Sorry, Wispy. It's nothing personal, I can tell you. Well, I don't think it is anyway, because it happens all the time. this and then we do the dance okay doo -doo 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 -doo. poor wispy oh <laughs> whoops kirby's caught himself so yes in this game uh we basically instead of doing an entire world we do one level from each world condensed down and we fight the boss at the end. Uh, so I might get rid of Bomb and have Poppy as a buddy. Instead. Wah! Because I think I could probably have a better. Ah! Okay. I'm still getting my um, controls mixed up. So. Oop. I wonder if I can remap them. I might do that for the next. When we do um, Kirby's Adventure. Oop. Ow! <laughs> I tried to avoid that, I failed. Um. <coughs> So now that I've gotten rid of my bomb ability, I, uh, ah, there we are, not finding any other dudes. Come here. No, not you. There we go. Now I'm Ice Kirby. Right, we can't attack Gordo. Gordo is invincible somehow. Oh, speaking of invincible. Ah, destroy everything. Well, that was easy. Ooh, we're a bit low on health, aren't we? I haven't been paying attention to my health. I really should do that. <laughs> Blade Knight. Kick. <laughs> oh, it's low, 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 and la, la, la. 
Oh wait, I can only jump down through the thin bits. Okay. Oh no! Poppy bro! I don't think there's anything I can do to help you. If there is, I don't know what it is. I forget that as Ice Kirby I'm a bit slippy because I ice skate across the floor. Oh. Running away, Kirby! Oh. <laughs> Alright. There we are. That got her. So there's no end of level games in this one. No sort of like jumping or. Up, or going in the cannonballs or anything like that. Bubbly clouds. Oh, he sneezed. Oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh, my ability. Come back. There we go. Uh, let's have you as a friend then, instead. And if I can get Blade, he's being a bit... Oof. Oh, well no, I can't get Blade. Get that blade instead. Oh, right. Let's not bother Scarfy, otherwise he'll turn into a nasty. Oh, I did it again. How about you? Wah! Ooh, a cookie. Hi, Waddle Dee. Oh, I'll leave you alone. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Ah! Oh, hi. There we go, go through the door at the top there. Oh, who's this dude? That's not Cracko, is it? It's summoning waddle doos, whatever it was. <laughs> I think that's a mini Krako, isn't it? And then Krako is the end of level boss, if I remember rightly. Hmm, do I want to be Mike Kirby? Yes. Ow. Oh, no, I can't be Mike Kirby, unless I can make him respawn. Oh. Sorry, Chili. Oh, I keep jumping on him. I don't want to jump on him. Ow. <laughs> I'm using up all my health doing this. Oh, and now I can't... Okay, I guess. just hear him sing anyway. <laughs> oh well. I should have cleared this before grabbing Mike really, but never mind. I just I just really wanted Mike. There we go. Ah in that case. Is there just path down here? Yes. Ah. ah, you stop that. Hi, Krakow. <laughs> nice. 
just scream until he explodes. <laughs> Pop. Let's grab myself a drink. Mount DDD. There he is in his castle. <coughs> Bouncy, bouncy time. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, no, not Stone Kirby. We'll have uh, Poppy Bro. Whoops, no. Actually, you can be a buddy. Uh, there we go. And we'll take Waddle Doo. Here he is. everyone in the background. There they are, Mary, Luigi, and Toad. They're watching us. I think that's Birdo behind them as well. Whoops, wrong button. And we get him. There he goes. So yeah, and Kirby turns into a big old balloon and returns the food to Dreamland. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so there he goes, off into the distance. So yes, uh, this is the only game, well I say Kirby's Dreamland, and by extension Spring Breeze, which is the abridged version is the only game in which DDD is an actual uh, antagonist. Like, proper, full-on, trying-to-do-something-bad antagonist. And, unfortunately, it kind of solidified DDD's role as the villain of Kirby when he's really not. You know, like, he's a bit of a fool, really. He is lazy, he's selfish, he's... A little bit egotistical, but he's not bad. He's not doing things to hurt people exactly. He's just not a very effective king, which is kind of fitting considering he just declared himself king one day and all the Waddledees were just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but he, from this point, formed a rivalry with Kirby. But, he's never been a sort of, like, full-on villain to him. So, like, the serum, there are some other games, both in this and the remake version, Cooper, Kirby Superstar Ultra, where there are some, um, sort of, like, rivalry games. For example, Gourmet Race is one. Um, Revenge of the King is another one. I think it's Revenge of the King, or is it... Yeah, Revenge of the King, um, which is pretty much chronologically and canologically uh, their final sort of this settles our rivalry forever fight. So from then on, and from now on, I guess, King DD is sort of an anti-hero slash ally. He becomes a good friend of Kirby's in the end. So we're just going to have a quick go of Gourmet Race because it's a classic. It's iconic. Everyone knows that music, right? Let's go. <coughs> uh, nope. Beat King and ED to the goal. Yep, we know. But you have to collect as much food as you can. The problem with Kirby is he slows down when he jumps because he's very floaty. So he might be able to run faster than DDD, but DDD has better jumping. Woof, just got it. Just hedged him out in time there. <laughs> oh, I jumped over that. Come on, Kirby, run. Oh, 
Oh, I got stuck. Oops. Oh no, he's got more food than me. Oh. Unfortunately, I got a bad start on this one. So he might succeed in this one by the looks of it. Oh, he's going up. We'll go straight across. I don't know which route has more food. Oops, wrong button. Oh yeah, he's definitely got me on this one. He's got like twice as much food. Oh. <laughs> oh well, it's all going to come down to this last one. One, two, oatmeal. Kirby is a pink guy. Oh. This Kirby's very cute. Ah, oh, I picked up the wrong ability for this one. Thanks, DDD. Ow. Ow. Breathe out, Kirby. <laughs> oh, that way. Oh no, he has more than me. Oh, hey, he's overtaking. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, I definitely goofed up a couple on those last two tracks, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, looks like DDD wins this one. Aw, don't bully him. Aw, so mean. Okay, but uh, we'll come back to this again when we do Superstar Ultra. Uh, we're going to be doing the rest of these when we get to that. Superstar Ultra, um, I'll be playing instead of Superstar. Oh, thinking about food again, eh, Kirby? Trying to fly up this big old mountain. <laughs> oh, now he's tired. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to go back and look at some of the other stuff. So, let's have a look at uh, Kirby's history. Let's see how the little, pu pi the little pink puffball got to where he was. Uh, 1992. Gosh, really was long ago. I was seven years old in 1992. There are summer games in Barcelona. I went to Barcelona, I think, I think it was the same year as the Olympics. Not to the Olympics, I didn't go to the Olympics. No, as I, as I said, I was seven years old. But I did go to Barcelona, did have a look around and everything. Uh, Space Shuttle Endeavour made its maiden voyage. And Bill Clinton was elected president of the USA. And we have Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Pinball Land. Uh, Kirby side games, I think I'll probably play either alongside these or after all these, but we're mostly going to be focusing on the main game line for now. So in 1993, the European Union was founded. Oh, oh dear, that hurts right now considering what's going on with Brexit. Oof. <laughs> Intel released the first Pentium processor. Janet Reno became the first female Attorney General of the USA. Oh, well, good for her. 1994 Winter Olympic Games were held in Lillehammer, Norway. Record-breaking 3,011 pound lollipop was made. I was just checking to see if that was a point or a comma, but it does. No, three pound, I mean, 3,000 pounds would be a lot, 
for a lollipop. So maybe it is a... The first genetically engineered tomatoes went on sale. I see why they put these in here. Because lollipop, Kirby has the invincibility lollipop, and his favourite food are tomatoes. So, I can see why he's happy about that. Then we have Kirby's Dreamland 2, Kirby's Dream Course, and Kirby's Avalanche. I loved Kirby's Avalanche. Kirby's Avalanche is basically Puyo Puyo. Perfect for Kirby. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely have to play that at some point. Uh, the DVD format was announced, 1995. Uh, Carl Ripkin Jr. broke record by playing his 2131st consecutive Major League Baseball game, and Nintendo released The Virtual Boy. Uh, <laughs> very before its time, The Virtual Boy, I think, if I remember rightly. Next we have uh, Kirby Superstar and Kirby's Block Ball in 1996. Summer Olympic Games were held in Atlanta, Georgia, and Nintendo released the Nintendo 64 and the Game Boy Pocket. 1997, we had Kirby's Dream Land 3 and Kirby's Star Stacker. UK returned control of Hong Kong to China. The first mass-produced hybrid vehicle, the Prius, launched in Japan. Oh, she really shows how long ago all this stuff happened. 1998, Winter Olympic Games were held in Nagano, Japan. Assembly of the International Space Station began, and Nintendo released the Game Boy Color. 1999, first non-stop trip around the world via hot, hot air balloon occurred. Ah, yes, the old uh, around the world in 80 days, although I don't think it took 80 days. Uh, the world's population reached 6 billion. Oof. Kirby appeared in the first Superstar, Super Smash Brothers fighting game. Ah, oh, yes, good old Super Smash Brothers. I know um, that was fairly recent, considering when this video might go out, about the whole um, final, uh, final fighter being revealed in the roster. That happened like about a week ago at the time of recording. <laughs> 2000. Summer Olympic Games were held in Sydney, Australia. International Space Station received its first resident crew. George W. Bush was elected President of the USA. And there's Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. One of the best Kirby games. Definitely up there. <coughs> 2001, Kirby Tilt and Tumble. 16-year-old successfully climbed Mount Everest. Wow. Uh, Nintendo released the Game Boy Advance and the Nintendo GameCube. Ah, the Kirby anime and Kirby's Return to Dream... Nightmare in Dreamland, sorry. Uh, which was um, an anime remake of... Well, a remake of Kirby's Adventure with added elements from the anime. So that was 2002. Winter Olympic Games were held in Salt Lake City, Utah. East Timor became the first new country of the 21st century. <laughs> Interesting. Euro coins and notes entered circulation. Oh yeah, I remember the Euros coming out. 2003, Kirby Air Ride, a game which we tried to get through most of the following years, but it was just so hard to get a hold of, especially in the UK. It's just like it had a limited release, and we didn't really get big into Kirby uh, or get a game uh, cube until after that release, and it was just oof. <laughs> um, so in 2003, the Human Genome Project was completed. Cool. Uh, Concorde made its final commercial flight, and Nintendo released. <coughs> excuse me. Nintendo released Game Boy Advance SP. 2004, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Summer Olympics were in Athens, Greece. NASA's rover Opportunity and Spirit landed on Mars, and Nintendo released the Nintendo DS. Kirby's Canvas Curse in uh, 2005. Danica Patrick became the first woman to lead an Indianapolis 500. Due to a lockout, the Stanley Cup went unclaimed for the first time since 1919, and Nintendo released the Game Boy Micro. 2006, uh, Kirby Squeak Squad. Winter Olympic Games were held in Turin, Italy. Nintendo released the DS Lite and the Wii. 2007, A record-breaking 10-ton ice cream float was made, 
and Nintendo unveiled Wii Fit and the Wii Balance Board. 2008 Kube, uh, <laughs> Kirby Superstar Ultra. Summer Olympic Games were held in Beijing, China. Barack Obama was elected president of the USA, and then Nintendo released uh, the DSi. 2009, ah, Megalop. Uh, the presence of water was confirmed on the moon. First time an annual global, global energy use dropped. 21st century's longest total solar eclipse occurred. 2010, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Winter Olympic Games were held in Vancouver, Canada. First 24 hour flight by a solar plane took place. And Nintendo released the DSi XL. In 2011, the world's population reached 7 billion. Oof. Nintendo unveiled the Wii U. Nintendo released Nintendo 3DS. And we have Kirby's Return to Dreamland and Kirby Mass Attack. And finally, 2012, when this was released, Summer Olympic Games were held in London, England. Nintendo unveiled the Miiverse. And we celebrated Kirby's 20th anniversary. There he is, hello! Ah, <laughs> oh, what a good boy. So yeah. Um, <laughs> feeling a little emotional actually, seeing uh, the first 20 years of Kirby and knowing that he went on for another 10. Um, yeah, 2022 obviously is going to be Kirby's 30th anniversary and we have uh, the Kirby and the Forgotten Land coming out. I actually feel myself welling up at this, and it's kind of a silly thing, but as I've said before... Oh look, he's falling asleep! <laughs> oh. oh! Hello! Ugh. Oh. Yeah, as I said before, I have a lot of sentimentality and emotional attachment to this series, because... Look at this. Here he goes. Run, run, run. 20 years, 20 years of history, and oh, we've gone back before 1992. Nintendo released the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1985, Game Boy in 1989, and Super Nintendo Entertainment, S Ent Entertainment System in 1991. So yeah, 20 years, and I was seven years old when the first Kirby game came out. So it's just kind of, it's kind of like having a whole, an old childhood friend that's just been with you through all these years and has just grown and flourished and is still, still with you. And it's like no matter how long I was away from the series or I fell out of the fandom or whatever, it's always good to know that you can come back to Kirby and Kirby will always be your friend. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Let's, um... Oh! Oh, wow. There's even more going on here. You can, you can eat the things. Watch a music video. <gasps> oh!
That was lovely. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, <laughs> I do get real emotional about, about things like this. Um, whoops. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, Kirby has endured for as long as he has, and that people still love him and are passionate about the games that he's in. But, wow. <laughs> so yeah, there are just... Um, lots of cool little things. I suppose these are like the trailers. And such. Yeah. So yeah, we've got like, um, trailers and music from each one, but, uh, what's this do? Oh. Oh, ha ha ha! Okay. So yeah, uh, we're not gonna do these all individually and look at the trailers, because that's just stuff that's already out there, but it was nice to look at, nice to have an explore. So, I'm gonna take a second just to, uh, compose myself. So, that will do for now. That was just a very, very quick introduction to the world of Kirby uh, without dedicating too much time to the game. Um, Kirby's Dreamland is a great introduction to Kirby, but it lacks a lot of the features of the later games, so it's not as strong a game. Uh, if you've never played Kirby before, it's n probably not the one I'd tell you to go for. I would tell you to start with Superstar Ultra. So, that's it for the introduction. Next Kirby game I'm going to do is going to be Kirby's Adventure, uh, which was the NES game, the second release. Um, and we're going to play that as it is. Or I might play Return to Dreamland. Uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, sorry, uh, the remake. Um, but that will be it for this video. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed, please do like, comment and subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought. Um, if you've ever played any Kirby games before and what your favourite one is, uh, let me know that too. And if there's any other games that you'd like me to play, uh, any other videos you'd like me to watch and react to, any kind of taste testing you'd like me to do, or if you just want to leave a comment, say hi, ask me a question, anything, just down below. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. So, until the next one, thank you for joining me, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.